We're in the small Eastern K, Eastern Free State, the town of Bethlehem. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. How still we see the lie. It will reverberate this afternoon as uh, Free State stars uh, welcome Amazulu. It is a battle for survival if you are Free State stars uh, for Usutu. They're still looking uh, um, over their shoulders, but they also have their sights as firmly set on a place in the top eight. A very good afternoon to you. Nico Mobie with the throw. Shrando! After showering him with praises, Mbata I put the knuckles on him as Kiza somehow drills the ball through him. And what a horror start for Amazulu. Perfect start for Ian Lakoto. Free State Stars take the lead. Here they come again, Free State Stars. That's a great ball through, and it could be another chance here. Just uh, another opportunity, firing in a shot from a long way out, but uh, skews off the side of the boot of a youngster, Mpo, Mpo Khabani. I think that just uh, took the opportunity away, but Khabani not keeping his eye on the ball. I think uh, Mbata has been the busier, particularly in the opening 10 minutes of the game, had to make a great stop shortly after conceding the first goal from a corner. Now, could be problems here, yeah, and it just gets underneath it. There's uh, Khabani, lively youngster, this one. Now we can see why he comes highly rated there, playing nicely off Elazar Rogers, just playing off the second ball there. We've had some quality service from Janky from the corners. Let's see what he does here. Goes to the back post and a chance. Oh, that could have gone in a way. But Gobete uh, there steering it uh, towards his keeper. He's already scored an own goal this season as uh, Pumlani Gobete. Great run here from Kiza. Almost uh, cleared up the line. Great work defensively there. And what an escape there for Amazulu. But excellent work helping out uh, there at the back. Was, uh, I think it was Nube that cleared it off the line. In fact, it was, um, I think it was Nube. Mobie. Not the best ball in, but it'll be kept alive by Mukwane on the far side. Mukwane. Mukwane! Oh, oh, oh. What a beauty! Rile Mukile! Mukwane! And that's exactly what the Free State Star supporters will be saying to him. Move it. Oh, 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 what a corker! Chawa Piwa, what a way to get your first for Amazulu! Whoa! Well, he's been trying. He's been attempting from that kind of range. And Chawa Piwa finally gets rewarded. Game on! Mobie. Now I wonder whether Kavasovic will. What has happened here? Oh, a penalty has been given. High drama. Well, just after pulling one back, now the hope that they had, you can see the signal from uh, Shuman is that there was a push. Well, Free State Stars can restore their two goal lead here. Elazar Rogers lining it up. He has dusted himself up to take it himself. Rogers puts it away. And the two goal lead is restored. As Elazar Rogers gets his third of the campaign. Flag has stayed down here. Nico Mobile. Can he finish it off his time? He's got the Chilumbu! That caps a wonderful afternoon for Chilumbu. Harris Chilumbu puts the icing on the cake for a special win here for Free State Stars. 
Free State Stars walk off the pitch as winners against Amazulu. It's a finished year by Free State Stars 4, Amazulu 1, Yalla Koto. Coach, a hefty defeat. How would you describe it? Phew. It's difficult, Lindy. I think uh, when you look at the, the schoolboy errors that you make as a professional player, then uh, you gotta, you got you to ask yourself why you're playing this game at the, the highest level in South Africa. Because I thought uh, all three goals, the first goals, were all errors. I mean, uh, it's obvious. You cannot head the ball back into play, the first goal, back into play. Uh, the second goal, we don't mark the player and we allow him to shoot. The third goal, you, you, you push the player deliberately in the box and uh, what do you expect? The, the referee not to look at it or to say, OK, maybe next time I'll give you a penalty. It's a penalty. And uh, they take their chances and they, they, they punish you. And uh, you've got to give them credit for our mistakes. They score the goals. And uh, yeah, but overall, I think uh, my team was not like they should be. Our passing was not uh, good enough. Uh, our, our attitude towards the game, uh, especially playing against a team that's playing direct football, where uh, you have to defend the, the, the high ball all the time. Uh, you, you've got to be better at the second ball, where you've got to put pressure and you've got to play, play your game of football. You cannot beat them at the, at the di direct ball that they're playing. And uh, unfortunately, we're not good enough for that today. And uh, we get punished for one. So uh, we have to live with that. We have to see how we get back in the next game. And hopefully we're able to collect more points in the in, in the league. Congratulations, coach, because for over for some years now, Free State Stars struggled against Amazulu. But you've just made history here today, beating them for the first time in almost 60 years. Let the history that is behind us, uh, very close and very nice history, is winning a Netbank uh, Net Cup uh, last season, uh, exactly one year ago. But now we are struggling for relegation. So let the history where it belongs. There is no yesterday, there is no tomorrow, just today. And now we are, we are enjoy the day. Let's talk about some of the changes that you made because those changes rewarded you, especially in that second half, because we had more goals. Uh, comparing to last game in, in Pretoria, where we didn't have, uh, we have, we had only one plan and we didn't have choices. Uh, today we had plan A, plan B, plan C, and whatever is necessary. Uh, I sent five forwards in starting 11. We aim to open that lock uh, as soon as possible uh, in first half. In first half, uh, it came too early. Uh, so we sit back in, in no sit back. Uh, we, we we were waiting for them in middle zone. We made middle zone pressure, uh, but uh, there was huge gap uh, between Masehi and central defenders, and we had to close that immediately on half time. And then I made that change. Uh, Katleho, Katleho came in. Uh, obviously, that uh, unfortunately Janji have some serious uh, family issues, and he. He was not uh, uh, physically ready to play 90 minutes. Uh, Hlubi for Janji was uh, just tactical substitute. And on the end, we needed somebody creative like Lamini to close that left side and to open counter-attack and to make something in, in offensive transition.